Um, my name is Fafa Gilbert and um, I love creative African cooking. So what I do is I actually take an African ingredient and an European ingredient and I just mix it and all this magic actually happens here. My passion for cooking actually was ignited during my childhood with my mom and I think in Africa, especially in Ghana where I grew up, it was imperative that um, you always spend time with your mom and learn how to cook. And I used to remember her saying that, oh, if, um, if you don't learn how to cook, you know, when I'm dead and gone, your husband would actually put your soup or your stew in a saucepan and bring it over to my grave and there's not much I can do, so you have to learn. And I used to find it quite tedious because it was a long drawn process. But then I was amazed at how my mom turned like simple ingredients into works of art. And I was hooked. I was so hooked. I started experimenting with different ingredients when I met my husband. He's English, so I had to find a way of incorporating some um, Western ingredients to my African way of cooking. I think it's a sin to actually cook something that doesn't taste of anything. When I create a recipe and it works, yes, I do blog about it. I would write it down because I do not want to forget it. And it was quite interesting to actually be featured um, on BBC, um, talking about African food and creative African cooking. I just love it. It just makes me smile talking about it, really. <laughs> I'm going to try this. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! <laughs> it just sprinkles all this beauty. Oh, oh this is exciting. This is what I love about cooking. Though I grew up in Ghana, part of my family also lived in Togo. And whenever I went to Togo, they used almost the same ingredients but they cooked differently. So I was intrigued. I was like, oh my god. How is this possible? And of course the baguettes in um, Togo, mm -hmm, amazing. And this is why I said to distinguish between um, flavors, taste, textures, and I fell in love with cooking. <laughs> loving the way the chicken is just taking this beautiful sauce and that's just stunning. Oh. Maybe if I must say I'm a good cook. <laughs> cook from the heart. Mm, it looks yummy but I think some sort of texture and flavour would do. Here we go. Oh, look at that beauty. And you want to know what creative African cooking is all about? Here we have it. My own version of a suya curry sauce. Ah, it's just beautiful with some chicken. That's just... Mm. <laughs> Ah, oh, you know what? Let me just admire my work before I serve it. I think that Nigella gives that sexiness to a dish. And Roman Blanc, oh my god, his garden, that her garden. That's my ideal heaven. textures and flavors and you know it's like I want everyone to just enjoy it. Cooking for me actually offers me that sense of escapism and creativity. It's something that even when I'm sad or stressed, 
immediately I just start cooking or try to recreate a recipe, I just feel excited. So yeah, I think it will forever be in my heart and it will forever be the blood that runs in my veins actually. I can't explain it. I love cooking. I guess that's the only way I can say it. <laughs> yeah. Cheers.